fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Lone Ranger and Tonto were camped beside a small waterfall. They had been there for three days, during which time they had cared for a young man who had been found on the trail, weak from hunger and fatigue. Now, Tom, it's time you told the truth. What do you mean? You told us that your name was Tom, that you were 21 years old. Those two statements may have been true. They're the only truthful statements you've made. But I don't understand. That you said you were a Westerner, a cowboy. And that you'd lost your job and were looking for a new one. Well, You I... haven't been in the West long enough to get tan. You know nothing about handling cattle and very little about horses. You've never done a hard day's work on a ranch. Now, see Look here. at your hands, Tom. Pretty soft, aren't they? Not the hands of a man who does hard work. Well, I... Tom, we found your horse and you're ready to travel. Before you go, I want to know the meaning of some of the things you said in your sleep. But I don't You talk of revenge... They... Of getting the man who robbed you. Well, I... I might as well tell you the story. I, I didn't tell it before because I was afraid you'd get to Basin City before me. I guess I owe you plenty. I, I'd have died if you hadn't found me after my horse threw me. Who robbed you? Well, here's what happened. My dad left a lot of money. He left it in charge of his best friend. It was to be given to me when I reached my 21st birthday. Well, it wasn't. I see. What happened to the money? It's gone. Dad's friend said he'd lost it. <laughs> the thief, he stole it. That's what happened to it. Where was this? St. Louis. Don't they have courts in St. Louis? Courts? <laughs> a pack of good the court would do. I went to a lawyer. He took the case to court, and I found out there was nothing I could do. I see. So I came here to take the law into my own hands. Here? To the West. Why? Because Charles Wilson is on the way here, and he'll have all his money, or my money, with him. He's going to Basin City. I see. There's still time to get there ahead of him. I'm going to get him and get my money. You didn't tell Tonto and me this before, because you thought we'd go to Basin City ahead of you and steal that money. Right? Well... You think we're outlaws? If you're not outlaws, what are you? If Mass tells the story, Tom. Must... it's all right with me. I'm going to break the law myself. According to the law, I'll be a thief. 
But the truth of it is, I'll only be taking what belongs to me. Now, look here. I owe my life to you, Antonio. If you'll help me, I'll split with you. How is Charles Wilson traveling? Stagecoach. Is the stage due in Basin City tonight at sundown? I think he'll be on board, he and his wife. We'll find out. Good. Let's get ready to travel. No. You and I will stay right here. Oh, Otto. Uh Uh-huh. You go into town alone. Watch for the stage and see if Wilson's on board. If he is, find out where he stays and come back here. Ah, me go. But hold on. If we're to help you, Tom, you'll have to take a few suggestions. Westbound stage had three passengers, a driver, and no guard. Get up there! Get along! Get up there! Cutting expenses, you see, Mr. Jason. Line is cutting expenses, so we don't carry a guard except when they got a special cargo. Barney Jason, one of the passengers, rode on the seat next to the driver. But aren't you afraid of an attack? Highwaymen or Indians or something of that sort? No. We got things pretty much under control around these parts. Get up there! Get along! Get up there! The other passengers were Charles Wilson and his wife, who rode inside the lumbering coach. We'll have to start all over again, Mary. That's not easy at our age. I don't mind. It's not easy for a man to admit that he's been a failure. What happened wasn't your fault. Stop blaming yourself. Everyone else blame me. They didn't know the truth. We do. (laughs) How could you know those investments would fail? You thought they were safe, didn't you? Of course. People had no right to talk about you the way they did. Why, that they acted as if you were a thief. I knew it. We'll forget those people we knew. We'll forget everything that happened and start all over again in Basin City. I wish I'd lost only my money. Charles, that wouldn't have helped. No one could understand how I could salvage anything from the wreckage of the business. That's what made them suspicious, especially Tom. But you offered to help Tom. Yes, I offered to. I'll never forget the expression on his face. He laughed at me. He said I could save my charity for someone else. Said he'd get what was coming to him. To think, Mary, that Tom, the son of my best friend, would drag me into court. Precious little good it did him. The court said you were innocent of any wrongdoing. Yes, but... uh... Charles, remember your promise said you'd stop thinking about those days. Now, look over there at that bed. Mm. Did you ever see anything like it? Just look at that grass and the wild flowers. This is new country, Charles. Past is a closed book. It is beautiful out there, Mary. Wish we could ride up front with the driver so we could see it better. Well, I'm afraid the other passenger... What's his name? Mr. Jace? Yes. I'm afraid he's beaten us to the driver's seat. We'll have to enjoy the scenery from here. Get up there! Get along there! Get up there! Pretty country through here, driver. Reckon so, Mr. Jason. I don't get to see much of it. Keeps me busy watching the trail ahead. I've been trying to remember the name of that man inside. What is it? I told you before. It's Charles Wilson. Mr. Wilson and his wife. Why in tarnation are you so interested in him? What's he to you? He's just curious, that's all. Fine-looking gent, isn't he? Yeah, I reckon so. Where's he from? St. Louis. What about it? I saw an Eastern newspaper a short time ago. St. Louis paper. Was it Charles Wilson mentioned in that paper? Yeah? Yeah. He was up in court for stealing cash. Cash that belonged to the son of his best friend. Yeah. Me? I don't read newspapers. Oh, the court said he wasn't guilty. He must have got away with a pretty penny. would be curious if your passenger were the same man, wouldn't it? It'd be a sight more curious if you'd stop asking so many questions. I won't have to ask many more questions. Just about two more questions is all. Well, let's have them. See that trail up ahead branching off toward the woods? Yeah, I see it. Isn't that what they call the creek trail? It is. And that's your second question. Well, when we get there, you just turn down that trail. Turn down it? Well, what are you... <laughs> hey, a gun! Now, don't shout, mister, and don't make any fast moves. You just do as I say, and you may come out of this alive. 
driver had no choice. Under the threat of Jason's gun, he lashed the horses to greater speed until the road branched to the right. Keep going. We're like to tip over on a rough trail like this. We won't tip over. Just keep those horses moving fast. It wasn't until then that the couple inside the stagecoach realized something was wrong. Driver, driver, take it easy. What did you... Get your head back inside and shut up. What's the meaning of this? That was just a warning. Get back and stay inside till I tell you to get out. How far do we have to go on this trail? What's the difference? Just go till you're told to stop. You won't get away with this, Jason. I'll worry about that. If I'm not in Basin City on schedule, there'll be men out looking for me. You keep going. My plans are all made, and I'm not worried. See those trees up ahead branching over the trail? Yeah. You drive right under them. That's where you'll rain up. What do you expect to get out of this? We're not carrying anything of value. Oh, no? Well, in that case, I'm wasting my time, huh? You sure are. You just let me worry about it. Rain up right here now. Oh, 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 oh. What's the meaning of this? You'll find out in due time. Driver, you stay right on that seat and don't make any fast moves, like I said. I'm getting down and I'm ready to shoot if anybody makes trouble for me. Now you, Wilson. You and your wife, step out. Is this a hold up? You'll find out what it is in a few minutes. Now, come on, step out. Be quick about it. Bring your handbag with you. Come, Mary. All right. I have, we have nothing worth stealing. Oh? No? Then why are you holding that handbag so tight, hmm? I know who you are, Wilson. You, you do? That's it. Just step away from the stage. Get up there! Get along! Hey, you! Come back here! Rain up those horses! Get out. Don't shoot! Get out. Don't Get shoot! Out. Come back there! Charles! Oh, Charles, is he here? I, I don't know, Mary. Thought he was smart. Thought he'd outwit me. It looks to me as if he did. Well, it won't do you people any good. I'll go right among those trees. Find some horses waiting there. What are you, what are you going to do with this? That depends on you. Get going now. Come, Mary. Right. We're going to take a horseback ride. Well, if, if you have horses waiting, you must have planned this affair. I sure did. But... I can't ride a horse. Then it's about time you learned. You're going to get your first lesson right now. Oh, oh Charles. Oh, keep no, walking. Baby. And keep a good grip on that handbag. It was sundown when Tonto returned to the Lone Ranger's camp. He came in fast, and the masked man knew by the Indian's manner that something unusual had taken place. Oh, Tonto, brother. Oh, sure been traveling hard. Look at that horse. Yes. Plenty happened to Kima's hobby. What is it, Tonto? Did Wilson get to town? Did the stage come in? Was Wilson aboard? Stage come in. But no passenger on board. Only driver. No passenger. Quiet, Tom. Let Tonto tell about it. Go on, Tonto. Well, driver say Wilson on board. Yes. Also a fellow named Barney Jason. Jason used gun. Make driver turn down Creek Road. Make Wilson leave stage. A highwayman. That's right. Well, Wilson should have had a lot of money with him. Someone must have known about it. Settle up, will you, Toto? Uh-uh. Stay there, Silver. What are you going to do? See what we can find out about the robbery. A uh, long way there now. We'll go there, too, Toto. Tom, you're going to wait here in camp. Like fun I am, I'm going with you. We may have to travel fast. Your horse might not be able to hold the pace. Nevertheless, I'm going with you. I'll keep up with you somehow. We haven't time to argue about it, Tom. All right, then. <coughs> hey, what are you going to do? Tie you up and leave you here. Hey, wait, listen. Sorry. You're double-crossing me. You're going to go there and get that money for yourself. Let me go, do you hear? Let me go. You make too much trouble, Tom. I'm going to have to gag you as well as tie you. Confound you. There. Guess that will hold you until we get back. I'm sorry. And I thought you and any of my friends. I thought you were going to work with me. Hang on to that idea, Tom. It's nearer the truth than you think. It's over ready now, Kimasabi. All right, thanks, Toto City, big fellow. Mount up and head for the creek road. Uh, get him on point, Tom. Tom. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Accompanied by the driver, the sheriff and a posse followed the back trail of the stage. The driver showed where his passengers had left the coach, but the ground was too hard to show the tracks of the horses that carried them away from there. A search was started, a search that continued throughout the night, but one that was unsuccessful. The Lone Ranger and Tonto waited until daybreak, then called upon all their skill to follow tracks and read signs that had escaped the notice of the lawman. Here's a broken branch, Tonto. Someone stepped on this. Uh -huh. That's right. And here, Mark, woman's shoe. Going that way. Uh-huh. Here, Tonto. It's on the trunk of this tree right here. Oh. Horse hair. Yes, a horse rubbed against it. Ah. Oh. Jason must have had horses here. Here, Frank. There's plenty of things, but maybe you see it. Yes, I see it. Here's the mark of another hoof. If Jason had horses waiting here, he must have had his plans well made. I wonder if he had any partners in this robbery. A horse go that way. And that's the way we'll travel. Not of Tonto. We'll get underway. Steady me, Colin. One, two, three. Get him up, Barney Jason had taken his prisoners to an old abandoned cabin which he had provisioned to serve as a hideout. He had spent the night hammering question after question at Charles Wilson and his wife. Daybreak found all three people tired and Jason angry. I've given you every chance to talk, Wilson. You're going to be stubborn, you're going to be sorry. That's all I got to say. I can't tell you what I don't know. You take me for a fool? There's only $10,000 in that bag. You can't tell me that's all the money you had. Do you think I'd let my wife sit here tied up like this if I could get her released by telling you what you want to know? Yeah. Well, you think it over. I'll see you later. He's... He's convinced I'm holding out on him. Charles, what are we going to do? We're at his mercy. What do you think he'll do? I don't know, Mary. Uh, he's riding away. Do you think he... He'll kill us. He can't turn us loose. He doesn't dare. I wonder where he's going now. I wish I knew. He seems to have the idea that I'm worth a lot of money. It was that article in the paper. Tom thought you had a lot more than $10,000, too. I know. I... Charles, look. Mast. You're, uh, Charles Wilson? But... Yes, but that... how did you know? We trailed you here. We saw Jason leaving a moment ago. Untie us, please. And hurry before that terrible creature returns. Father will let us know if Jason returns. Did uh, Jason get your money? Yes. It was stolen money in the first place, wasn't it, Wilson? No, no, it was not stolen money. Who told you it was? Doesn't that money belong to Tom Anderson? Tom Anderson? Do you know Tom? Did he tell you that? I've heard his story. It's not true. My husband didn't steal anything from Tom. Tom sounded very convincing. He thinks I stole his money, but that's not true. Oh? Why, well, I, I wouldn't rob that boy. He's the son of my best friend, my oldest friend. His father left a lot of money in trust for Tom. The war wiped it out. I lost almost everything I had, too. I was worth a fortune at one time, but everything is gone. All but $10,000, the cash I got from selling my property in St. Louis. We offered to give Tom part of that money, but he wouldn't take Tom it. Tom wouldn't let himself see the truth. Oh? You must believe us. Let us go. Give us a chance to see Tom and try to explain it to him. I don't think Tom would believe anything you told him. Unless... Uh... Unless what? Let me see if those ropes are going to be too painful. Aren't you going to release us? Just a moment, Mrs. Wilson. Let me look at your wrists. I think you'll be all right for a little while. You you mean you're going to leave us this way? For the time being, yes. But Jason will come back. He he thinks I'm holding out on him. He thinks I have money hidden somewhere. He'll, he'll come back and torture us. We'll see that that doesn't happen. You leave people in there? Yes, Toto. But I think Tom is wrong about Charles Wilson. I'm going to get him. You stay here and keep out of sight. If Jason returns, don't interfere unless he starts torturing those people. Uh -huh. Good. Monsieur. Oh, 
Boss Harmon. Trying to untie you. Wilson and his wife are in danger. They need help. Help the man who cheated me? <laughs> I'll help him only as much as is necessary to get the cash he brought, West. You hadn't better count on the cash. And he can take what comes as far as I'm concerned. He's an old man, Tom. Both he and his wife are in danger. <laughs> what of it? He was your father's best friend. And he double-crossed, Dad. He swindled me. There. Now, just a minute, Tom. Wilson must have a lot of good qualities. You might be mistaken. I'm not mistaken. Your father would hardly trust a crook or a swindler. Don't you suppose your father would want you to help Wilson? Oh, I don't... If you don't help him, Tom, I have an idea you're going to hate yourself for a long time. The rest of your life. You're going to dream about your father. You're going to hear him speaking to you. Asking why you didn't give aid to his old friend. A dog. Barney, Jason will stop at nothing. If he kills Mr. and Mrs. Wilson... It'll be because you didn't help. I... I suppose you're right. I can tell you where to find the shack. But hang it all, he swindled me. Your father trusted him. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. You can't ignore all the years that Wilson took your father's place. Saw you through school. Saw that you wanted for nothing. But he the was Wilson's the Wilson's that... lives are more important than a few dollars. Well, it's up to you, Tom. All right. Lead the way to that cabin. Good. But we're not going together. I'll tell you how to get there. You'll have to go alone. Barney Jason returned to the cabin with a cruel-faced man. The two burst into the room. Now, Wilson, I thunder you're going to talk. I brought a friend of mine who has a way of dealing with people like you. Oh, Charles, the... Frightful looking creature. Oh, so this is a critter that's stubborn, eh, Jason? Yeah. Who, who is this? He's my partner. He's the one that had the horses waiting for us. They call him Moose. I reckon you can savvy why. What do you want to find out, Jason? Find out where this gent is hiding his cash. All right. Now, mister, no amount of cash is going to repair the damage I'm likely to do if you don't talk and talk fast. Every cent of cash I had in the world was in the satchel. You have all my money. I don't believe you. All right, mister. If you're going to be stubborn about it, I, uh, I reckon I'll have to untie the lady's hands, Jason. <laughs> Can't twist an arm that's tied up. You, you leave my wife alone. <laughs> Uh, look who's talking. Oh, oh Charlie. Uh, there now. You still got time to talk, Wilson. Where's all your cash? I told you the truth. I can't tell you anymore. I have no more cash. Still stubborn. All right, then here goes. You dirty stubborn. Hey, Moose. What the? Come. I'll show you. I'll break you apart for that. Come here, you. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll fix you for that. Let me get a shot at him. Tom, Tom, look out. Now, blast you. Try to dodge this. <laughs> Missed again. <laughs> Why, you... Tom was unarmed, but he was fast and nimble. He ducked and parried blow after blow and moved so quickly that neither Moose nor Jason had a chance to fire. Then Moose changed his tactics. He threw his great bulk against the boy and hugged him in a bear-like grip. Charles, Charles, I'm killing him. I got him, Jason. Hit him with your gun barrel. Swing him around this way. If I can only get free to help you. Look, the door is the last man. Hold it. No! Be helping. Take that one, Tuttle. Uh, Who are you? This is for you. Oh. Here's another. Oh. And another. Oh. Let go. Let go. Don't kill me. Let me talk. Me wait a minute. Uh, uh, good work, son. Uh, I'll finish the pole, cat. Come here, Jason. No, wait, wait. Wait for what? Uh, That'll do it, Tom. Uh, I'll get him on his feet. No. He's got more coming. No, no, no. You've no. done enough, Tom. The law will carry on from here. Cut the ropes that are holding your friend. All right, here now, Tom. Oh, Tom, Tom, you saved our lives. Just a second, Mrs. Wilson, I'll have you free. Oh, where in the name of mercy did you come from, Tom? Tom came out here ahead of you, Wilson. He came to take your money. You are welcome to everything I have, Tom. We can never repay you for what you've done. Lean forward a little, Mr. Wilson. Uh, Let me get your hands free. They, they were going to torture us. They thought I had more than the money in that suitcase. Uh, you better rub your wrist a little bit and restore the circulation. <sighs> Say, Tano, where did you come from? Where were you when I came up here? <laughs> oh, well, me waiting back a shack. Oh, here, money we find in Jason's saddlebag. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Tano was instructed to let you handle those two, Tom. And you certainly did. Such courage. Well, Tom, 
Looks as if you can have the money you wanted. I'm... I'm sorry you hit me so, Tom. Hate you? I... Oh, gosh, I don't... I... I don't know why you saved our lives. Now, look here, Mr. Wilson. I... I guess I was pretty much mistaken about you. I just didn't stop to think. Oh, uh, here, Tom. Here are the guns of those two men on the floor. You and Tonto can keep them covered. I'll send the sheriff to take them into custody. Oh, all right. But, gee, I don't see what... again soon. I... I can't understand that masked man. He was here a little while ago. He was? Yes. And then he left without untying us. Ah, oh, I begin to understand why he told me to come here alone. He, he wanted me to help you. <laughs> oh, it's funny how things have changed all of a sudden, Mr. Wilson. I, I don't know how to explain it. I thought you cheated me, but now I... Well, golly, you... You can't go on disliking a man after you fought for him. You certainly fought for Mary and me. And as for what cash I have, you, you're welcome to it, Tom. Right fun I am. I'm going back east where I came from, unless... unless I can get a job someplace here in the West. We'll both get jobs here, Tom. The cash I have is enough to start us in some kind of a business, just as... just as your father and I started a long time ago. <laughs> and that'd be plenty good. Masked man, glad to hear that. Tom, who is this Indian? He and the masked man helped me. <laughs> yes, they sure did help me. But that doesn't answer the question. Who is the masked man? Why, gosh, Mr. Wilson, I don't know. Why, him called Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.